see Paco. Paco? There ain't no Paco here, fella. Get lost. Are you absolutely certain? He's in his office. Take the stairs over there. I'm gonna hear you come in. A crazy beast came around here asking questions about the apartment on Marble Street. I don't know what you're doing down there, and I don't want to know. But whatever that shit is, it's beginning to draw attention. Look, I know you kept me out of prison. But that fucking bitch nearly killed me. Everything you ask, I think my debt to you is paying. Don't fuck around. No, no way. I, I can still help you out. No, don't, don't kill me. No time to waste. Gotta find Paco. basket case if things keep going like this. That bastard nearly broke my neck. The suspect dead. Someone tries to kill me. On the right track, do you think? The killer was looking for something. Hako knew the killer. That's why he was killed. His coat pocket. I tore it off during the fight. Two receipts from the same gas station. 
Interesting. Madison Page. What was the journalist doing here? Orchid pheromones. The fucking origami killer. A bullet. Right between the eyes. Instant death. A 45 caliber semi-automatic. Forty-five caliber. Madison Page? She may be a witness. Ethan, are you all right? I couldn't do it. I was supposed to kill him to save Sean. And I couldn't do it. You're not the origami killer, Ethan. You're not responsible for those murders. I can prove it. That changes nothing. Saving Sean is all that matters now. She's the only person I can trust, but now I have to be alone to do what I have to do.
should have guessed. All this time and I had no idea. Ethan, what's the matter? I thought I meant something to you. Listen, I... You're a pretty good nurse for a fucking journalist! <gasps> Ethan, I, I wanted to tell you, but... What kind of article were you gonna write? My life with a serial killer? No, no, no. How I caught the origami killer. Maybe you'll get a book deal. I hope it was fucking worth it! Ethan, it's not what you think. I... You lied to me, Madison! All this time you fucking lied to me! I thought you wanted to help me, but you're only thinking of writing a fucking book?! journalist. And I knew that you were the father of the boy who had disappeared, and... and I wanted to cover the story. But then I saw what you were going through to save your son, and... and I understood how much you love him. I wanted to tell you the truth, but I couldn't. I was afraid that you... that you may not believe me. I was afraid that you'd ask me to go. All I want is for you to find your son alive. And when it's all over, I want to be with you. I'm sorry, Ethan. I'm so... Sorry. You're leaving, aren't you? To the last origami figure. The last letters, then I'll know where Sean is. Take care, Ethan. I can't lose you now. I'm gonna go find something to eat. Wait for me, I'll, I'll be back in 10 minutes. I, um, I think I'm starting to fall in love. Now we gotta find his son. And I think I know where to start looking. We'll find his son and prove he's innocent. I'll be able to help him now that he knows who I am. I was so afraid he wouldn't believe me. Wrong move, idiot. I should have admitted everything earlier. Cops. They're looking for Ethan. It looks like a raid. Too late. Ethan's gonna get arrested and he won't be able to save his son. I'm sorry, Ethan. I'm so sorry. What's going on? Isn't this great? Like being in a TV show. Who'd have thought it? The origami killer renting a room here. He registered under a false name, but I recognized his face. What was the damn number? Come on, come on. Pick up the phone. Hello? The cops. They're in the motel. You've got to get out of here.
I'm sorry, Scott. You should have listened to me, Mr. Shelby. I told you to drop the investigation. Your son is a serial killer. How many people does he have to kill before you turn him in? Gordy has his faults, but he's still my son. You have no children, Mr. Shelby. You can't possibly understand. You leave me no choice. Your investigation is over. For good. Switch on that ignition. Mm. Wake up! 
I was gonna take up swimming again. This isn't exactly what I had in mind. You got a car back at your place? Mine's obviously pretty fucked up. Yeah, sure. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go settle a few scores. Come on, I'll take you home. Lock your doors and windows and don't let anybody in but me, okay? Be careful, Scott. I don't want to lose you. killed all those kids, didn't he? He's the origami killer. No! No! He's innocent! He's not a killer! Not a killer! <laughs> oh. 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 You're a fucking liar. Now tell me the truth. No! No, please! Don't hurt me! Last chance. I don't know. I swear! I don't know anything! Stop! Stop! I beg you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything. Gordy... Gordy always wanted his fun, you know. He wanted to... to be like the origami killer. He kidnapped that kid and... he held him under the water for a little too long. It was an accident. An unfortunate accident. He just wanted to play. He told me everything. He was crying. He was so sorry for what had happened. Whatever he did. Gordy... Gordy is my son. No one will miss him. What? That boy, Gordy killed. No one will miss him. Just street trash, like so many others. Oh. You disgusting pile of shit. And what about John Shepard? Why did you put flowers on his I... grave? I own the construction site where he died. I never forgot. I've been putting flowers on his grave for 30 years. John had a twin brother. What happened to him? I don't know. He was adopted, I think. 
His mother. His mother should know. Her name is Anne. Anne Shepard. My heart! My heart! Quickly! I need my pills! In that drawer! There! Fucking bastard. Let him die. Shelby! Come back! I fucking order you! Come back! John Shepard died 30 years ago. Hope his mother has all the answers to this puzzle. Hello, I'm looking for Anne Shepard's room. Please sign the visitor's book. Are you a member of the family? Yeah, you could say that. <coughs> oh, she'll be pleased to have a visitor. No one ever comes to see her. With the Alzheimer's, she has trouble remembering things, but it'll still please her. You know. It's room 19 at the end of the corridor. Thank you. Only a few hours left before Sean Mars dies. Hope I'm not wasting my time. Hello, Mrs. Shepard. Is it time for my pills already? No, Mrs. Shepard, I... They're never on time with my pills. I don't know what they do here. In the other hospital, they were always on time. But here... I came to talk about your son, Mrs. Shepard. My son? I have no son. Try to remember, Mrs. Shepard. John's twin brother was placed with a foster family after the accident. What was the name of the foster family? I asked them for a television, you know. They said I didn't have enough money. It's a pity. I'm fond of television. I know what happened at Carnaby Square. Do you remember? Carnaby Square. I think I used to live there a long time ago. We didn't have much money at the time, you know. We had to make do with very little. Your other son, Mrs. Shepard, John's twin brother, what was his name? What other son? I have no other son. I never had any children. Do you remember John? My Johnny. He is a good little boy, you know. You had a son named John, and John had a twin brother. Do you have my pills? It's time for my pills. Mrs. Shepard, your son may be linked to a series of murders. Perhaps you have some information that could help the investigation. Are you a new nurse? Where are my pills? I think your son is in trouble, Mrs. Shepard. He's done some terrible things. I need to find him. Do you understand? Terrible things you're telling me. He never came to see me, can you believe it? In ten years, never. No one forgets their mother, do they? Does Mrs. Shepard ever talk about her past? It's not all very clear to her now. Sometimes she'll remember the oddest things, though. I suppose if she sees something that reminds her of her past. Does she get many visitors? She's been here for ten years, and you're the first. 
I'm looking for her other son. He was adopted. I mean, he, he's probably changed his name. Is there any official documentation on Mrs. Shepard? No, there's nothing really. Nothing about her family. I guess if her son was adopted, then she's the only one who could tell you about that. Sometimes, if you show her things, it seems to trigger a memory from her past. You might get it to remember. Thanks for the advice. What a lovely orchid. My sons loved orchids. We used to grow them in the back. When John died, I laid orchids on his grave. Are these your children, Mrs. Shepard? John and his brother? Is that them? They're good little boys. Their father never looked after them. Always drinking. They didn't have an easy life, you know. to do these little dogs too. My children loved origami. I taught them how to do it. John loved the little dogs. He always wanted to call them Max. Max, Max, Max. All dogs with the same name. I was wasting my time telling him they couldn't all have the same name. But he always wanted his paper dogs Max. It's funny, isn't it? I cried when they told me. I'd already lost one of my children, and now they were taking away another one, you understand. The foster family, Mrs. Shepard. What was the name of the foster family that adopted John's brother? They were really very nice people. I met them, you know. In the beginning, I used to go and see my little boy. And then I got sick and I couldn't go any longer. Perhaps he thought I'd forgotten him. He must have thought I didn't love him anymore. His name, Mrs. Shepard. What was his name? But I loved him. If you only knew how much I missed him. Please, Anne. His name. What was his name? Come closer. 